Yeah, and that's the thing. It's like how we said, like religious and cultural thing. Like, there's always that back and forth going on, even to this day, in that country, and just how it is with within Bosnian people in general. How they have this divide and conquer wherever they live. You know, it's like, oh, I'm this, I'm this, whatever, ethnicity or culture. Yeah, and it's just continuous. You know, it just doesn't never ends. Yeah, it's but it's and, it's and the funniest thing is that they had the same ancestry for the most part, but. Again, it's hard. It's hard for someone to accept that or understand that. But yeah, that's that's the thing. That's what people don't get. It's like first, it's it's your it's your location, right? So if you're yeah. if you're located whatever in this continent or that continent, right? You're gonna be like, oh, this is my continent. You know, my my continent is automatically better than yours for some reason. You know, it's like that's just how they act, people. You know? Yeah. They just think that it's like, oh, whatever I have, it's it's better. And then it's they have on top of the location they have okay then we have some like cultural stuff, and then we have some religious also on top of that you know, mm -hmm. and then you're just making the people smaller and smaller and smaller and then it's like okay Bosnia three million four million people, you know what is that that's nothing that's like a city in Germany or in uh, the states the or states, whatever yeah. you know it's like that's that's nothing so. Why are these three million, four million people, you know, against these other three, four million people? It, it's it doesn't make sense, you know, because they're all together. They make like at least, you know, one decent side country. But it's it's just like, you know, everyone wants to think they're special and they're, you know, this instead of being like, hey, you know, we're all here. Let's make the best out of it. Let's try to make it good for for our people, you know? Yeah. But and also like of course there's external influence happening on that and all that stuff yeah of course but of course yeah we'll come to that but we'll come just, to that, yeah. you know that's just sad for me that part yeah 100 percent. and um yeah man if you want to look up like there's there's some interesting videos your favorite thing genetics right there's also oh yeah also I saw like that. a breakdown let's, of genetics of, let's of, put that of bosnia so let's kind of explain to people before we show that Bosniak, like you know, this idea of Bosniak or Bosniak, like what does yeah. that even mean? Whatever. So again, because this country is so divided amongst ethnicities, religions, and cultures, historically, it's like we're talking thousands of years, right? You know, it's never been like one country for one people. It's always been mixed of different influences. Which we also have, we also have a video for that. We can get into that too, of all the territory takeover. But we'll get into genetics first. So basically, Bosniak is basically because of the Muslim influence from the Ottoman Empire, those are those Mus those Bosnian Muslims, you can say, that that's also called as Bosniaks, right? And then you have within that, you have Bosnian Serbs, Bosnian Croats, which is mainly just religious differences for the most part, you know, Bosnian, um, you know, Orthodox Christians or Catholics and their cultures, their ethnicities, but it's just mainly divisional amongst those ends, but that's kind of Bosniak is over time. But, yeah. Let's yeah. watch this uh, genetics right here. Yeah. Oh, let me speed it up. Don't want to get it. Yeah, yeah. Strike right here. Oh, wow. How many intros are they going to do? Yeah, I don't know. This is. No modern idea. Yeah, you see, this is a good quote right here. See this? No modern idea has affected history more than the passion of nationalism. Yeah, yeah. I agree with that. That's a great That's all quote. What it is. Yeah. That's what it's it is. like basically someone came up with that nationalism's idea and they sold it and People still believe in, believe in that shit today. Yeah. All right, so the origin of Bosnia is a topic that have attracted historians, archaeologists, uh, scientists, and more than two centuries. New genetic research technology rejects the myth of Bosnians as Slavs and gives a whole new impetus to the research of Bosnians and origin 
and history oh yeah that word too slav slav is also an interesting word because yeah apparently the word slav is the root word for slavery right I don't know if you've exactly heard of that before. yeah yeah it those, is <laughs> and slav slav is you know those people have been going through under like i said before generations of influence or, or imperial influence or dominance and they've yeah. been taken over enslaved quote unquote i mean that's that's just one theory of what the root word is it could be i mean I, i've read this before somewhere too that the word slav has also like thousands of different references in latin based greek based meanings but yeah under the pur purposes of this definition i think it works you know like that makes sense if yeah in that context but yeah we'll come to that to bring that don't forget about that yeah slav yeah um on this map we can see the situation in europe during the last glacial period about twenty thousand years ago the green territory blah 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 habitable territories in europe everything was under the ice here we go selling you an ice age <laughs> hey, <bro. laughs> bosnian ice stop age. selling me bosnian ice ages what's wrong with these people can't even can't even watch a bosnian thing without he hearing some ice age shit. come ice on age. It was everywhere. It wasn't just here. Are the results. North America. All right, give me some results of the gene. Here we go. So this is the gene haplogroup. It is assumed that the haplogroup came to the Balkans with the Ottoman conquest. Otherwise, the greatest concentration of this DNA haplogroup is the Arabic Peninsula. Bosnia, zero percent. Herzegovina, yeah, one. Yeah, that, that right there. I'm getting hot. That that right there. I'm not cool with because it's like. It's like they have no definition of what a Bosnian is at that point. Yeah, but they don't even have a definition of what Bosnia is, you know what I mean? It's like Yeah, yeah, that's a problem. There's no such no one's gonna be coming from Bosnia, you know what I mean? Like that's the yeah, dumbest yeah. shit ever. It's like Bosnia just came out like twenty <laughs> years ago. Oh, this guy's came come from Bosnia? No. <laughs> he was before yeah. Bosnia there. Yeah. Croatia, Serbia, Kosovo, sixteen percent, Kosovo Albanians. Macedonians. Okay, yeah, same okay. Same thing. It's like, where's the rest of the percentages? That's only like 50, 40 percent. <laughs> the distribution of the haplo J, whatever, Bosnians are not the Antalyan or Turkish or that's I'm, bullshit. I don't believe that. I believe that there's Turkish influence. Yeah, there's definitely hundred percent. Yeah, of hundred percent can be found in Europe along the coast of Greece. Albania, Italy, largest share in the Balkans have Kosovo Albanians and Serbs. Okay. Again, Falling map has more detail. Again, sure. some, yeah. The haplogree, which originates northeastern North Africa, Africa, show a high percentage of the Balkan Isis. among the Albanians, Serbians. Among... Wow, now you're African, bro. Come on. Now I'm Af I'm more African than than uh fucking Irish. African Americans. 100%. Watch. 100%, I guarantee you. I'm more African than African Americans. Watch. I want to get that test, bro. And I'll see you. Yeah, yeah. Watch out, bro. I'm more African than African Americans. Watch. That's funny. This is kind of the bullshit they come up with right here. Probably the invasions of the Huns. The root of this group is located in Mongolia. Now that that I can see that because Mongolians did take over a large chunk of the world for the most part. So they say. Uh... Yeah. Yep. Your boy, uh, what's his name, Genghis Khan. Apparently, his uh, his genes are um, distributed across the world. You know, we're, we're related to that guy somehow, allegedly. But the haplogroups. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, the Huns. Bosniaks. Hold up, let me close were... the window, it's raining. Oh, okay, no problem. Yeah, it says here that the Huns were nomadic warriors who terrorized much of Europe and the Romanian Empire in the 4th and 5th centuries AD. They were impressive horsemen best known for their astounding military achievements. Yes, yeah, so they were in power for fourth and fifth centuries okay yeah all right yeah I was, I was just talking about the huns for a second just talking about the huns Mon it says we're the huns mongolian yeah they were turkic people although they governed 
probably a group of German Slavs and, pro and probably some like, Mongols too. This video does, has not intent to offend anyone or to provoke racial tensions. <laughs> Where's oh, this other video you looked up? No, this one that we're watching. Yeah, yeah. That's funny. By saying that these are the genetics, you are provoking my sin, my friend. Yeah, genetics and race are not the same thing, but whatever. No, but it's like, how, how do you know? People are gonna get triggered. People are gonna get triggered. <laughs> how do you know that shit? Tell me. You're watching Easy and Ebra TV.